Far from civilization, on our first anniversary camping trip, the serene wilderness turned into a sinister nightmare as an escaped psychiatric patient hunted us down in the dark woods, where screams echoed and survival became a deadly game. Back in 2000, when I was young and newly married, I wanted to do something special for our first anniversary. I decided to surprise my wife Sarah with a camping trip to a remote wilderness area far from any cell service or other people. It seemed like the perfect getaway, just the two of us alone in nature, my wife Sarah and I hiked deep into the woods and set up camp next to a serene lake. On the first night, as we sat cozily by the campfire, the emergency radio I brought suddenly crackled to life, a panicked voice warned of an extremely dangerous psychiatric patient who had escaped a nearby hospital and was now loose in the woods. The announcer urged everyone within a 20-mile radius to evacuate immediately. Sarah and I looked at each other in alarm but quickly realized it was too late, we were already two days hike from the nearest road, as the sun set, creating shifting shadows across the trees surrounding our tent, the woods took on a sinister feel. Every snapping twig made Sarah jump, and I kept the fire raging, clutching my hatchet tightly, around midnight, we heard rustling in the bushes right outside our tent. I shouted a warning, but the only reply was a creepy, lilting laugh drifting through the trees. We huddled together, terrified, as heavy footsteps circled our campsite. Then suddenly, everything went quiet, I gulped and crept out of the tent to investigate. Sarah clutched a flashlight, hands shaking, as she followed. In the darkness, we discovered that our food had been stolen along with our emergency radio. Something had destroyed our bikes as well, eliminating any chance of escape. We weren't alone. The escaped patient had tracked us here to play a deadly game of cat and mouse. As the scream started echoing through the woods, Sarah and I knew that only one of us would walk out of these woods alive, if any did at all. The hunt had begun, and we were the prey.